Okay, so it says uh, velocity measurement of an alpha particle has been performed with a precision of this much. Let me label that as my delta v. What is the minimum uncertainty in its position? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, minimum uncertainty. So it's a, a reference to the Heisenberg uncertainty principle that if you have uh, some measurement uncertainty in position of some state, that's necessarily related to, to required minimum uncertainty in position in this way. That the, the product of those two uncertainties is greater than or equal to h bar over 2. So um, we are given put, uh, the velocity uncertainty. And since momentum is mass times velocity, um, the, this uh, velocity uncertainty is directly tied to momentum uncertainty. Momentum uncertainty is um, mass times uncertainty and velocity. Assuming mass is, is a fairly well-known quantity and you don't really have to worry about the uncertainty in mass, uh, which could be a case for uh, unstable particles. So, so I think we can treat the uncertainty momentum as given, then solving this for um, uncertainty in position. I'm dividing both sides by delta p, which is a positive quantity, so the inequality doesn't change. So delta x is greater than or equal to h bar over 2 times 1 over delta p. Okay, I feel like there's a lot of constants here. Uh, let me just use all from alpha. It's going to be a little bit quicker that way than um, doing the calculation in, uh, in sage math. So... Just to bring up the old Ferram alpha. So it'll be h bar divided by 2 divided by still. wonder if it has alpha particle mass. If it doesn't, I have another way to deal with it. Uh, times um, uncertainty in uh, velocity, so 0 0.028 millimeter per second. Let's see what happens. Um, oh yeah, it has alpha particle mass. Wow, that's amazing. Um, I, uh, I, that's great. Uh, yeah, I think that all looks right. Yeah, and uh, the the end result is in the unit that we are expecting, 0 0.283 millimeter. Okay, 0 0.283. Um, huh. Somehow, uh, I, I don't know. I have no real uh, sense of uh, intuition for these numbers. Um, I get the feeling that millimeter is a um, pretty large uncertainty in position for alpha particle. But yeah, I, I'm just uh, using this formula. One thing that I'm not 100% sure is, uh, uh, yeah, it says use the exact form. Because uh, uh, a lot of times the textbooks will give you this uh, uh, <laughs> they will tell you something like this, delta x times delta p is greater than or approximately h. And uh, these two forms are different by factor of 4 pi. That's an order of magnitude. So it's not really interchangeable, especially with the auto grade in the systems, because um, it's unrealistic for us to put in a, like a factor of 10 um, error bar. So <laughs> that's why the hint is saying use the exact form, because that's how the system will grade you on this question. Um, okay, let's keep going. I have question four. Um, if the uncertainty in the, oh, yeah. It's uh, being rather specific about uh, this component of a particle something. Uh, because, so even though we introduced this delta uncertainty in position times uncertainty in momentum is greater than or equal to h bar over two, um, what we should really clarify is it's the uncertainty in x component of momentum that's related to the uh, x component of position that way. It's quite component specific. 
um, so this is more of an upper division quantum mechanics material, but uh, like if you have some uncertainty in the Y position and you are trying to relate it to uncertainty in the X component of momentum, you can actually get these states in such a way that their product is equal to zero. You can have arbitrarily precise Y position along with arbitrarily precise X component of momentum. So uncertainty principle is component specific. That's how they are related. So that's why the question is rather um, particular about specifying uncertainty. The Y component of the position is that three picometer, and it's asking for the minimum uncertainty in the simultaneous measurement of the Y component of velocity. If we had asked for um, X component of velocity, I could have said, oh, zero. It could have been arbitrarily precise. So let me just uh, make those changes here for the change in the component. Uh, everything else remains the same. You know, delta Y times delta P Y is greater than or equal to H bar over two. So let's just uh, write down the next step. Um, using momentum is mass times velocity. So also uncertainty in momentum for stable particles is the mass times uncertainty in velocity. Um, and uh, here I can imagine dividing left and the right hand side by uh, mass times the uncertainty in y position. Um, both positive quantities, the um, inequality will stay the same. And I end with uncertainty in the velocity in the y component is greater than or equal to right hand side divided by m times delta y. So h bar over two times the mass of the proton times the delta y. So that's it. Uh, again, I'm plugging in quite a few number of constants. So physical constants, I'll use all from alpha again so that I don't have to look them up individually. Uh, h bar over two, still divide by a uh, proton mass times, um, not, oh wait, that, oh wait, no, no, that is, uh, I gotta replace that with the position uncertainty, which is going to be three picometer. All right, I think that's good. Uh, let's see what we get. So h bar over two, Okay, yeah, that is the, uh, that's the uncertainty in velocity. It's pretty high. Um, yeah, so in meters per second, so that's 10,500 meters per second. Um, yeah, that's pretty high. And I think that uh, one of the reasons I have this, just saying, you know, uh, having, um, localizing it within uh, that three picometer is, uh, um, it's not quite down to the nuclear size, I think. Yeah, it's not, it's larger than the size of nucleus, but it's a, a fraction of the size of an atom. Okay, let me submit. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure the hints are the same. Yeah, use the exact form because otherwise program, the system can't really grade you well. This is one of the downsides of uh, uh, machine grader versus human grader. When a human grader does it, uh, you know, we can look, uh, we can see if, if that, although I guess uh, there are ways to program it. You can program it with multiple answers, like an answer based on H bar over two, another answer based on H over two, maybe, and another answer based on H, or H bar over two, H bar, and H over in H. I think that's how one would do it, if you want it to, but uh, yeah, maybe I'll do it in the future. Okay, uh, question five. Um, okay, it says an atom in a metal stable state has a, some lifetime, find the minimum uncertainty in the measurement of energy of the excited state. And this actually relates to what I was saying earlier about unstable particles and uncertainty in mass. Um, so this is a different uncertainty principle. Um, it should be of this form. And uh, I think I mentioned this in lecture that this uncertainty in energy and uh, lifetime uh, greater than or equal to H bar over two. Um, while in form, it looks rather similar to 
this, um, there's a quite a bit of uh, difference in how you interpret this. Uh, like this delta t, it's not uncertainty in time. It's a more like a duration of time. And um, and I, I guess that nuance is a better addressed in the in in an upper division uh, quantum mechanics class. I think for the purpose of this class, uh, just knowing this form is good enough. Um, because one of the ways the uncertainty principle kind of um, ends up being useful is it becomes ends up being a way to enforce uh, uh, dimensional consistency. So uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is what it's saying. Yeah. But anyway, so what's important is this uh, form. And uh, there are some ways uh, one might abuse it, misuse this relationship, but uh, I'll, I'll try to steer you away from those situations as at least in this class. So, so for the purpose of this question, um, so, oh, all right. So I do need the value of h bar, but I think that's all I need. So um, solving this for delta A, or you know, dividing both sides by delta T, my uncertainty in energy is equal to, or not equal to, greater than or equal to H bar over two times delta T. And here's an interesting thing. I actually don't need to know anything else about the atom. I just need the lifetime of the uh, metastable excited state. So, um, so I think I'll do it this way. I'm gonna look up my, I somehow just don't have this memorized, uh, reduce the Planck constant in the unit of uh, electron volt. So that would be 6.582 times, so H bar is a 6.582 times 10 to the power of minus 16 in electron volt unit. So here are the, answer simply is um, that expression h bar divided by 2 times 4.6 milliseconds so 4.6 times 10 to the power of minus 3 seconds um, you can see the units the seconds cancel out the second in the uh, electron volt times a second so i am and i end up with a unit of electron volt and i have this as my uncertainty in energy, which it's a little bit hard to get intuition for 7.15 times 10 to the power of minus 14. So it's a pretty small uncertainty. And I think um, the reason question says the matter stable is 4.6 millisecond, that's super long for an atomic excited state. Like that's a stable state. Um, uh, those uh, such uh, the kind of the the spectral lines associated with the such long-lived states will be super sharp, uh, and that's what this uh, small uncertainty in energy uh, corresponds to. Uh, 